hello today I'm here with a new video and today I'm going to make my first will I buy it video I have done kind of like this video so I talk about maybe five or six things I want to buy but today I'm going to take talk about a little bit more products and things I want to buy and things I don't want to buy I usually look at Paulina Beauty and Angelica Nyqvist with these videos so I can link their channels down below so I don't take any credit whatsoever of this so I will just hop into the video and I have everything on my phone and I've been checking Trend Mood's Instagram most of Trend Mode I will link all the Instagram accounts down in the descriptions if you want to check it out. We can start with this is new foundations from NYX Cosmetics and they have a collaboration with Elisa Ashley. I think she have helped them to come up with color come up with colors, make the colors and the shade range. And NYX, I think they're always good at taking out light colors and also dark colors which is really really good and this is 45 shades that is lots of shades shades i will not pick up this foundation this is a full coverage can't stop won't stop new full coverage matte foundation i don't like full coverage and i don't like matte foundations so this is not for me but a really good job, NYX, for picking out 45 colors. Next up is Colourpop and they are coming out with new shadows, Yellow Match. They say themselves it's a little sister to their Super Shock shadows. I haven't tried any of the Super Shock shadows. I have three highlighters that I like, but I haven't tried their eyeshadows yet. And these I don't want to try. I don't like jelly things. I don't like sticky things on my eyes. So this is not for me. I don't like... I only like dry shadows, eyeshadows. So this is not for me. And is it a little bit light? The sun's coming and the sun is going. But I really like the colors of these shadows. They look really fun and very pigmented. But it's nothing for me. I would like to try this kind but in a highlighter, but not in an eyeshadow. Then Jaclyn Hill is coming out with her new collaboration with Morphe. They are releasing four eyeshadow palettes. And this has been going back and forward, back and forth. They come out and the formula was pure shit. <laughs> and they took it back and now they are releasing them. In new formulas and now it's the Lixum, Lixum. now it's the real release can you say that I don't want to pick up any of these eyeshadows I don't think they are so special I like some shadows in all palettes but it's none of the palettes is something I really 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 want to get so I'm not getting any of these but I haven't tried Morphe um, I maybe should try it sometime, but I will not try any of these. Next we have two new things from Beauty Blender. And the first is a collaboration between Beauty Blender and Too Faced. It's their new Too Faced new to the Fruity collection and Beauty Blender made a sponge. And frankly I don't get it. I don't get why. I have a beauty blender, a black beauty blender, I have had the pink original beauty blender and sand I think it's called, the beige beauty blender and they all work exactly the same. So I don't understand what a different color should do but for a couple of months ago they released their new sapphire like it was the news of the century and I don't get it it's the same sponge 
with a different color. I don't care <laughs> about the color on my beauty blender. I always buy the cheapest one. If it's pink, if it's blue, if it's black, I don't care. So I'm not going to pick this up. And they're also releasing a new Power Pocket Puff. I don't really understand what this is. If it's just like a normal powder puff that's nothing new. It's nothing new with the pocket. So I don't understand this either. It seems like one of the sides is a normal powder puff and the other one reblend makes up reblend makeup i'm not gonna buy this either next up we have lime crimes new lip pencil and this these are the first lip pencil they are releasing i have never tried anything from lime crime and i am a little bit disappointed with these lip pencils when i think of lime crimes lipsticks and liquid lipsticks and all that jazz I think crazy colors, I think fun colors, and these are boring lip pencils. There is two purples, some of them pink, and then it's like any other lip pencil out there. So I don't understand what's, what the fuss is all about. I would like to see more crazy lip pencils like their uh, liquid lipsticks and not like this but if they're coming with more fun colors i maybe will pick one up but not these boring colors next up we have ofra and they are releasing two two new highlighters with nikki tutorials i have one of her highlighters the glazed donut i love it it's one of my favorite highlighters. It's so pigmented, it's so easy to work with, and it's it's really, really good. These two new highlighters called Space Baby and Cloud Nine. One of them are pink and the one other one is blue. And I don't like that much color in my highlighter. I like white, champagne, and rose, but not like this so i will not pick this up but if you like these kind of highlighters these colors i can really recommend ofra's highlighters because they are really really good they are a bit expensive but they're worth it next up we have one more highlighter new and this from jeffree star and now the church bell starts to ring i'll talk <laughs> he is releasing liquid frosts so it's a liquid highlighter and these ones I'm a little intrigued uh, I don't know the price yeah $25 I will not pick this up I think that is too expensive I like other liquid highlighters that are much much cheaper but I think this is going to be a great product he is really good to make products and yeah. Then one of my favorite brand is releasing two new products. It's a Swedish brand. It's Linda Hallberg Cosmetics. Linda Hallberg, maybe say in English. That is one of my favorite, favorite brands. I love their brand. I have bought everything they have released, so I will buy these two new products they are coming out with a uh, infinity glass that is a face primer you can use it on your lips and your eyes to make it glossy and it's supposed to be non-sticky it's vegan and just wonderful so i will definitely definitely pick this up and they are also releasing a new powder and this powder is supposed to be really good for dry skin and I have dry skin and right now I don't have a powder that I love so I'm looking so much forward to this they are releasing it on Friday Real Techniques is coming out with new brushes um, full collection with brushes I don't really know what these are called it's space brushes I don't know 
brushes and a sponge. I really love Real Techniques, they are some of my favorite brushes. But I don't really like their uh, special editions, their limited editions. I like the original brushes. I think these look cool. But I will not pick this up. The only special edition I have really loved is this faux blue collection. This is, I think, the most prettiest brush that I own. Next up we have a highlight, one more highlighter and this is from Juvia's Place. They are releasing loose highlighters. I haven't seen any swatch on these yet, but I love their eyeshadows. They are crazy pigmented, so I hope this is it also. So, depending on the colors, I think I will get these. They are coming out next week, so yeah. Hopefully they come to Beauty Bay and then I will buy it. The Balm is coming out with two new eyeshadows, Alternative Rock. And these are so boring. A couple, uh, <clears throat> a couple of years ago I thought that the Balm was one of my favorite brands. They were coming out with so much fun colors, products, and now it's just like... <coughs> the only thing I love <laughs> about the Balm still is they have really good names on the products. But these two palettes I'm not going to pick up. Also Sugar Pill is releasing a collab with Trixie Metal. Metal? Metal? Um, I think she is a drag queen from RuPaul's Drag Race. I'm not that into RuPaul. With six eyeshadows, duochrome blush, and then also a lip color. I have only the picture of the eyeshadows. And if a drag queen is releasing a eyeshadow palette, I think it should be crazy colors, fun colors, creativity colors, but this is just me. And also Sugar Pill is releasing and they usually have really fun colors, very bold colors. So I'm not gonna pick this up. Now it's not so much left. One brand that I really want to try, I haven't tried them yet, but I really, really, really want to try it, is Blush Tribe and they have come out with um, titanium dust eyeshadow pigments and this look really 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 nice as I said I haven't tried anything from Blush Tribe but I want to it's a UK brand and uh, yeah these look really really nice so if I make an order from Blush Tribe I think I'm going to pick one of these up and they are also releasing a new palette, the Hasina 2 palette, and they are also releasing glitters in collab with Certify. Um, this palette is not me. I don't like green that much, I don't like blue, but I think it's a nice palette, but it's nothing for me. But I think I'm just... I are going to buy something from Blush Tribe, but not the Cena 2 palette. And then the last things, two things from LA Splash. They are releasing a horror collection. They have already re released the liquid lipsticks and there is coming an eyeshadow palette in mid-September. We can start with the liquid lipsticks. These look really fun. I love the packaging. Um, it's fun colors, fun or fun, it's unusual colors and I think I'm going to pick one or two of these up and I love the bottle of it and the eyeshadow palette is not out yet but this I'm going to buy. It looks like this and whew, I just love it. Um, the packaging looks really cool. I love horror movies, I love the old horror and this is the old horror. And these colors 
look really 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 good this is only um i think it's print screen from the video this i definitely definitely going to pick up i hope it will come to beauty bay the liquid lipsticks are already on beauty bay so i think the palette is also coming to beauty bay in mid of september i hope i hope so that was all for my first will i buy it video I'm going to try to make this once a week. Today is Sunday. I'm going to try to have it up today. So I have to stop talking and start editing. <laughs> so I really hope you like this video. I will link all the Instagram accounts I have checked, took pictures from down in the description box. So yeah, I really hope you like this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Well, I was